Hey everybody, it's Margaret, and today I am doing my Week in Review video uh, live. Hi! <laughs> uh, if you're not here watching live, then welcome, and I hope that you enjoy what you see here. If you are interested in catching me live, um, follow me over on Facebook at Texas Gal Treasures. I frequently al will also post on my Instagram account, TX Gal Treasures. So, welcome, and I see HB Picker, Latest Grace, and Maggie Noodle are in the chat already. Hello and welcome. And Maggie, long time no see. We were just talking yesterday. Normally I do this on Sunday, but because yesterday um, we have our Chatter Books, which is a book club, um, and we do that live on the last Sunday of the month, so this week in review gets bumped, and either I figure out when I can put it, or I just, some weeks I skip it. But this week I really wanted to do it, and I'm about to cough again. Hang on, I'm going to mute it so I don't cough in your ear. Here we go. Um, so, yeah. Hello. I like to do a week in review every week because it, it makes me take a step back and look at what I'm doing and see what's working and see what's not working and see if I'm meeting my goals. Um, because for so long there, before I started doing this, I just barrel forward and just keep going and going and going until all of a sudden I'm just stressed out and I'm not making the progress that I want to make. So when I started doing this, yeah, I still get stressed out that I'm not doing certain things that I want to do or things are not making, you know, I'm not making the money I want to make or the progress I want to make. But at least now I know how to focus it or change it around if I want to. So, okay, I'm going to say hi in the chat real fast to everybody. Hello, Fran and Kathleen. Yay. Hi, Caroline. Hello. Hello, Stone Mason and Vicky and Anne, Randy and Tina Sales. Hello. <laughs> I am feeling better. Thank you very much. Oh, this is a funny story. It's funny now. It wasn't funny at the time. If you follow me on Instagram or on Facebook, you will have heard this story or seen the, the pictures anyway. <clears throat> so this past Saturday, I was going out to a community garage sale and I was actually starting to do like a ride along video that got cut short too. I'm <laughs> <coughs> sorry. Um, so I was finding some really good stuff. I found some nice jewelry, some cool sunglasses, and I was leaving a garage sale who just so happened to be somebody that I knew. It was a, another one of the Boy Scout leaders. So it's more like a friend of my husband's, but I see him like every week at Scouts. So I'm just leaving his garage sale, walking across the street, and both. Of my shoes broke I would have fit, fit, fit flops and both of the little things between my toes broke at the same time okay and I went down in the middle of the street and so my my leg like this much of my cat like front of my calf in front of my shin just scraped like road rash and that, I was one I was humiliated so embarrassed and then I got up and saw the state of my leg and said, you know what? Both of my shoes broke. My leg is just a mess. I I think the garage sale gods are telling me to go home. So that's what I did. <laughs> I went home. And Randy, of course, you know, he doctored me up and said, put on some new shoes and get back out there. I'm like, no, no, I know when I'm I know when I've lost. And that, that morning I've lost. So <coughs> excuse me. Oh, Caroline says, I just put my October goals around that found myself saying, well, that's half completed a lot. <laughs> oh, yeah. And Caroline does hers monthly. So I and I, I asked her when I started doing this, do you mind if I do this? It's such a good idea. Um, but I, I do it weekly because if I wait a month, goodness knows, I'll get way off track. Um, OK, so Jeff says only a flesh wound, mere scratch. That's right. <laughs> I have not lost. Right. <laughs> I love Monty Python. Yes, yes, a friend, both shoes, both. <laughs> that was when I was like, I'm at Margaret, out. <laughs> I don't know why I'm coughing. I'm really getting better. So maybe it's one of those coughs that just hangs on. But happy Halloween, everybody. Um, I'm not going as anything. I'm going as a mom of two ninjas. So we'll, we'll have ninjas on the loose tonight. Um, all right, so let me jump into first the business section of what all has been going on. I'm going to try to ignore my chat over here. 
over there. Okay. Um, so merch, I know I've been talking a lot about merch lately, but I feel like it has really, it's, it's such a good opportunity that I hope a lot of you guys will think about applying. I know it's taking forever. I know it is. Um, and I'm planning a merch Q and a video. Uh, so I've dropped, you know, on Facebook and Instagram and a few other places, you know, if you have questions about merch, um, put them under those threads and I'm going to do my best to answer them if I can. Um, if I can't, then I will try to find out or, or, or point you in the right direction. I've also been listening to a podcast by my, uh, two of my friends, uh, Glenn Zubia and Yong. They do a podcast on iTunes called Merch Mimes. And I think they have five episodes up. Um, but that's it's been really helpful. I mean, Glenn is doing super amazing, and I'm just on the second episode. And Yong is about, you know, where I am. He's at, at, in where I am listening to it. He may be further along now, but it's nice to see that, you know, somebody who's super successful and somebody who I think I'm doing okay, you know, but at answering those kinds of questions. So it was really good. So if you haven't, and uh, think about doing merch or think about tuning in when I do the live q and I have a couple other videos about it. It's a print on demand from Amazon. So um, my merch this, this past week, <clears throat> I uploaded 25 new designs. I took some down, trying out some, some new things and I sold 20 shirts this week. So that's really good. E now I'm going to move on to my Etsy and eBay. Oh. <clears throat> so I feel like my Etsy and eBay are kind of on hold right now, more so because of something that happened this week. This week, and it may have trickled back into the week before a little bit, I lost two items. I mean, lost them. And that's not like me at all. So it just told me, like, I just need to put the brakes on and rethink, like, what is going on here? Um, so I went back and I looked to see, okay, what were the two items? What did they have in common? Well, I realized that they were two items that I had taken a batch of pictures. What I do is I get a basket in my room and put a bunch of stuff in the basket, take a bunch of pictures, and then list that stuff. I realized that they were in the same batch of things that I took pictures of. So somehow those things got lost. Because then I started looking back at the pictures, you know, saying, okay, what else was in that batch? What else was in that basket? These things. And I went to look for them in my room and I couldn't find them. And I was just freaking out. So I think, and I, I spent an entire day and I, I told the first time, the first item I lost, I looked for an hour, hour and a half. And then I told Randy, okay, this is a $20 item. I can't, you know, how long am I going to look for this thing before I just, you know, say, uh, pull, pull the plug and say, I have to cancel the order. That one was on Etsy, so I didn't freak out too bad. <laughs> the next one was on eBay, and that made me freak out because canceling an order because you can't fulfill the order is bad, <clears throat> especially on eBay. So I really did. I mean, I went through my entire workroom. I looked in every box. I touched every item. And I'm, I mean, literally moving everything to one side of the room and then going through it and moving it back. I did that three or four times, and it was just not there. None of it was there. <laughs> so what I'm thinking happened is a while back we donated some stuff, and I think maybe that those things may have accidentally got mixed in, or I'm going to magically find them one day. I, I dreamt last night that there was a place I hadn't looked in my house. I dreamt that we had like these bins in our bedroom, and, and then suddenly had this realization, there they are, they're in the bins in the bedroom. We don't have bins in our bedroom, but <laughs> I was just like, how did this happen? <coughs> I, I'm, I don't, that doesn't normally happen to me. So yes, it was very frustrating, Maggie. So I, I sort of just put on the brakes. I went through everything else that was in that batch. And I just, um, I didn't delete them, but I deactivated all those listings. Um, so if they magically show up, then I can reactivate them. But oh, having to cancel that order and send the message to the, the buyer and just let them know. And actually, they, I need to call eBay because they I canceled the order, but they haven't refunded the person their money yet. And so I got a message from the buyer asking, where's my money back? So I've got to look into that today. So yeah, I, yeah, so now my plan as far as eBay and Etsy is, 
everything's going on hold right now. I'm not listing anything else. I'm going to do inventory. So because that was the worst feeling. And I mean, I may have had lost something or sold something, like accidentally relisted something that sold. I think that's what I did. I've never like lost something like this. So yeah, I want to go through and put my eyes on everything and just re rethink the way I have it organized in there because I just, I couldn't take that. It just drove me nuts. Um, so that was, that's where things have been going on in eBay and Etsy land right now. I'm still making sales, which is nice. Not a ton because I'm not, I, I'm not listing. So not listing. Oh gosh. Is there a funny sound again? The other day, my, my mic acted weird. Is it happening again? Let me know. Cause then I'll unplug. <laughs> I see pull and says poltergeist. Either that or whatever took my stuff was a poltergeist. I'm not sure what you mean. <clears throat> okay. I'll keep going until you let me know. I think you have to refund separately. I don't think canceling refunds just can't. Oh, okay. I'll have to look at that HP picker because I went to try to ref. Okay. I'll look at it. Um, okay. Good. No funny sounds. I'll double check today because if that's my bad, then I need to say, oh dear. I am my bad on that. Okay. <clears throat> so that's how things are going. I just heard a bidding and I swear I closed my Facebook out. No, I didn't. There it is. Closing it out. Okay. So that's what's happening with eBay and Etsy. Why am I buying more stuff? That's what you want to know. That's what I want to know. I can't help it. <laughs> I keep having haul videos because I keep buying more stuff. But when I find good stuff, I can't help it. I did, I did a haul video just earlier this last week. I guess it was Friday. I you know, was leaving the kids' school, my kids' school, and I see a sign that says estate sale today only. Everything must go. And so I said, okay. <laughs> and I went. And I spent like 30 bucks and got all of this like amazing vintage stuff, you know, vintage ashtrays and china and porcelain and just, he had tons. And I really thought about going back. I think I even mentioned I was going to go back. And Randy said, you should go back. Um, but I didn't. I, I just, I couldn't. And my workroom. <laughs> Again, it's like hoarders in there. I went and bought some more tubs. To, to, I'm getting organized in there again, doing inventory, I told you. But yes, it is an addiction, Maggie. You're right. <laughs> but I feel like if you don't put yourself out there, you don't find the good stuff. For example, I didn't need to go out garage selling this Saturday, but I went out, I spent like eleven fifty, and I got, you know, some 14 karat gold earrings and some sterling silver kitty earrings. I mean, I, I just walked away. It's like I go and I walk away with money, you know, now I got to list those things, but that's, <laughs> that's what was happening. All right. Let me check in the, the chat real quick. There's a ginormous hawk. It's not a squirrel. I wish it would eat my squirrels. Sorry. I wish I could show you. There's a giant hawk that just landed in my pecan tree. <sighs> I wish it would eat the squirrels. Sorry if you're a squirrel lover, but they eat all my pecans and I never get any. Okay. <laughs> Hey, Tanya. Okay, I'm sure I missed some other people in the chat. Hey, Catherine <clears throat> and Melissa. Yes, Shopaholics Anonymous. I'm not going. I don't have a problem. I can quit anytime. <laughs> okay, so that, that's what's going on with that. And honestly, okay, I was going to talk about this too. Sometimes I feel like a phony. And I, I went back and forth about talking about this. But I do, I mean, I, I'm a reseller. But lately, I haven't been doing as much listing um, and selling as as I feel like I should be. Like I should, you know, I have these shoulds in me. Like, and and I know they say don't should on yourself. That's not nice, you know. Don't friends don't let friends should on themselves. But I feel like I should be doing this and I should be doing that, and I'm not doing enough of this. So I, I'm just trying to be gentler <laughs> on myself <laughs> because I do list. I'm not listing as much as I would like, but I I've, I've got my fingers in so many different pies and so many different things going on that it's tough. But then I start feeling like, Oh, I'm such a phony, you know, but I guess I'm not, I, I don't know. I just thought I'd throw it out there and see what you thought because I am selling. I do sell on Amazon and eBay and Etsy. I'm not doing as much of that right now because I'm focusing a little more on merch and a little more on, um, what else? <laughs> Sourcing apparently, um, 
But yeah, Nevada says, sounds like classic imposter syndrome, very common. I'll have to look that up. I don't know, imposter syndrome. But is that what I am? I know. Maggie says, you should do what makes you happiest. <clears throat> and it does make me happy to do these things. Um, it, it does make me happy to go buy more stuff. <laughs> Even though I, I, I know if it doesn't sell, it's like, what's the point, right? That the whole point is to sell it and make money. Um, so... Catherine says, don't, do not pressure yourself. This is life. Give yourself a break. This is true. I started doing my, my schedule and my mom was like, where in there is like, take it easy. You know, where in your schedule does it say like, watch some TV? <laughs> like it doesn't, it doesn't. It goes back from like work to clean the house, work to the kids' bedrooms, work to, oh, it's time for swimming lessons. Now let's go. <laughs> right? So I feel like after I've spent the day, you know, working on cleaning up the house or working on other things, then it's like, I deserve a treat. I'm going to go outsourcing. <laughs> hey, Sherry, <clears throat> how's it going? Okay, so uh, I wanted to talk about that because it's, it's, been, it's been on my mind. I do make money from reselling, though. So I make money from eBay and Etsy and Amazon every month. And, and now I'm, I am making, you know, pretty good money, I feel like, from merch. My last payout, I don't mind sharing because I think it's a motivator. It's not like, uh, let's see how good I'm doing. But anyway, it's a motivator. When I see people doing better than me on merch, I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm going to get there. So I made about 600 bucks last month on merch, which I think is great. You know, and we're trying to get that our van paid off so that Randy can get a truck. He wants a truck so bad. Okay. Hey, Jessica. Hi, Lynn. <clears throat> yes, yeah, Sherry, I have a pecan tree, but I don't ever get to eat them. The, the squirrels. Anyway. <laughs> All right, so next up I was going to talk about our group, International League of Thrifters. Um, we have Pinterest parties every day. Today is free choice, which means you can do whatever, put whatever up there. But we also have a cover art challenge. So we want to make a new banner for our group. And so we put a challenge up. Um, we put the parameters, you have to put, you know, International League of Thrift or Superheroes or Reselling or something like that. And then the dimensions have to be a certain way. And then the winner gets to be like, a, what do we say, a, a guest admin for the week, where they'll get to pick all of the, the Pinterest parties for the week. And they'll get to choose what the challenge is going to be for the week. And then we do things like Watch My Item Wednesday and Motivational Monday. And we thought, oh, well, why don't we let them come up with a new one, you know, that we can try out. So I, that's a lot of fun. And uh, so, yeah, if you're interested, go over to International League of Thrifters and submit your entry. <laughs> so far, we have none. <laughs> so it's totally open. Let's see. Is the pin party only for eBay or Etsy listings? It's either. Whatever you want. Or you can pin a Pinterest listing, you know, with just whatever you feel like putting there. It's cool. Whatever. I guess you could even do Amazon if you wanted to. Like if you have a merch shirt that you, if it's a freebie, if it's like free, it's open. Some days it's like blue, the, the challenge, you know, pin, pin something blue. So whatever you want, and we'll pin it, <laughs> you know. That's a good idea. I'm going to start putting some merch shirts in there. <laughs> Or your own site. Yeah, it, it could be from your own site too, Jeff, whatever. We don't have any, because I think one of the things too with, with, with our group, International League of Thrifters, is that we want to be open to, you know, any, any kind of e-commerce that will help us. So um, eBay, Etsy, Poshmark, Mercari, whatever, Amazon, just any way to help make money or to sell your stuff or to whatever, you know. So. I think it's open. I mean, I've seen both. I've seen Amazon, I, not Amazon. I've seen Etsy, eBay, and people pinning just like Pinterest thread, you know, their own pin, pin from Pinterest, you know. So whatever. <laughs> it's open. Um, okay, so and then also we are planning a monthly admin hangout for iLot. Um, so all of us will get together. And it might be hard to have us all. I think we're going to all try to be on the first one. But then it'll, it might rotate around because... I think we've got five or six admins. So it's hard to get that many people, one, coordinated, and two, to make sure everybody gets a turn to talk because that's hard. Um, so we'll see. That, and we're going to talk about what's going on in the group and the things we're learning and the tips we're finding out because while we know things, you guys know lots of things. You know, it's like all of the – I hate the term hive mind because I feel like it just takes the 
individual away, but it's like all of these people that know all of this awesome stuff, you know, no one person knows everything. So it's amazing to have all of these amazing ideas and tips and tricks. And, and so just we're wanting to share some of those things that we're learning from the group with everybody. Hey, Mark. <laughs> Let's see. Sherry says, I just added up my monthly receipts for sourcing. That was a Halloween scare. <laughs> this is true. And that's a good point. And that's something I'm going to be interviewing um, Caroline. And I wanted to ask her about that because I don't do that. I mean, some people set themselves a budget. And somebody asked me about that before. Do you set yourself a budget for sourcing for the week or the month or whatever? And I don't. <laughs> I don't. I just, you know, if I see it, I, I like to think I would do it, but I know myself. And once I get there and I see, well, I know I was only supposed to spend $30 this week, but here I am staring at $30 worth of stuff at this random estate sale. <laughs> what am I going to do? You know? <laughs> Let's see, have you thought of doing a mastermind group to stay on task for your goals, says Tina. I have not. Maybe I should. Would that entail like people just telling me, what are you doing? <laughs> Get back in the house. Don't go <laughs> to the thrift store, right? Just somebody tell, straightening me out. Um, Catherine says she sets a budget or she would be homeless but well-dressed. <laughs> Let's see. A thrifting Alaska says I don't either because I buy some stuff for myself and budget some. Yeah, exactly. Sherry says she shoots for twenty to thirty dollars a store, but when I got out every day, it heads up. It does. It's true. Tanya says budget schmudget. <laughs> yeah, exactly. HB Picker says my sourcing depends on what I can afford at the at a certain time. <clears throat> yeah, where's the fun in budgeting? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah I I like to think I would I don't buy it if I don't have money in my account how does that sound <laughs> I don't put it on the credit card so that's good if there's no money in my PayPal then I don't buy it <laughs> luckily you know I I have a bank account like a business account too that you know I roll money over into and my other stuff so like Amazon and other monies go over there so my PayPal mostly just collects the eBay money, so that's mostly what I end up sourcing with. I don't spend it all, but yeah. <laughs> Silver Hair Stacker says, American Pickers says, the time to buy it is when you see it. That's for sure. That is for sure. And when you see stuff you've never seen before, like, what is this? I need to buy this, right? I mean, I'm, I love doing that. I, yeah. <laughs> Jeff says, I still have checks, so I must have money. <laughs> Uh, exactly. Okay. Y'all yeah, great. <laughs> Thrifting Alaska says, right, if you don't buy it, you can't make money. Okay. So let's see. Um, the challenge in iLot this week <clears throat> is a holiday items. So this whole week we're focusing on trying to get holiday items listed because it's Q4 time. Yay. And usually I like to talk about the Kindle books that I've shared because I try to find free Kindle books to share in the group, but I didn't do that this week. So next week I'll be on the lookout. Um, I also have a set, another group that's called Jewelry Lovers and Sellers where it's an informational group, which has gotten a lot of, you know, we have gotten a lot of new members and basically we, we share things that we found or we share you know like what is this I don't know what this stone is and so there have been a lot of new members over there and it's been really great because like I said earlier nobody can know everything so you'll see something you may have never seen before and it just store it away in the back of your head so when you see it out in the wild you'll know what to pick up right silver head stackers I once had money but no checks <laughs> oh no and then I mentioned earlier, Maggie was in, uh, is in the chat, I, still, I think still, um, and we have another group on Facebook as well called Chatterbooks. Chatterbooks on YouTube. It's a live um, book club. So if you're ever interested in that, I'm, a, I'm an avid reader. So uh, every month we have a new book. And the last Sunday of the month, we have a live book club hangout and the panelists rotate. So yesterday it was me and Maggie and Jenna McCarthy, who was the author of the book. We've, for three, we've only had three episodes and two of the episodes, the authors have come on. So that's been really awesome. I think 
So Jenna McCarthy came on. She was amazing. She was so funny. And <clears throat> yeah, I mean, her book was really good. And then this book, so uh, one witch lady said, what kind of books? Just all kinds. The first one was just like a cozy mystery. And then the next one, the, the first one was called Lucky Stuff. And then the second one was the story life of AJ Fickrey, which was set in like a bookstore. And it was kind of a mystery, but it was just person, you know, getting to know people. And, and then the third one was Everything's Relative by Jenna McCarthy, which was about these sisters. So it's just everything. We, we choose the books by voting in the group. So if you're in, in the group on Facebook, we, I'll, I'll post three books, you know, and there's a thread where everybody can say, we should read this book. And so I'll go through and choose three of the books and put them in a thread and then we vote. So everybody votes. <laughs> Christine says porn. They only discuss porn. That's a different book club. <laughs> and, but this next month, we're doing still life. And it's not about a naked painter. But it is also a mystery. Which we, Now that I think about it, we've done a couple. We may need to move it away from the mysteries. It's so fun, right, Maggie? I agree. Um, let's see. Thrifting Alaska says, I'd love to get into it, but I can't extend another thing. I've cut back on my extracurricular activities. And tell your mom that's something. You for yes, yeah, something you do for fun exactly. Um, so yeah, uh, still life is by Louise Penny. It's really good. I've read it before, so I'm excited to read it again. I actually listen. This one I'm listening to. I do a lot of audiobooks because I don't have time to sit and read a lot. The last one I read because I was on the plane to Chicago, so I could read it. <laughs> All right, so <clears throat> that's that. And then on YouTube. I've done a lot of hauls lately, you might have noticed, because I've been buying a lot of stuff. <laughs> but this coming week, Caroline Matthews and I, Miss Caroline, Mrs. M, is coming over on Wednesday, and we are going to have a live interview chat, so that's going to be good. Um, I've got a munch pack I need to do. Randy and I recorded a few unboxings, um, so those are going to be going up hopefully soon. And then I have another video that I'm making about the keywords and titles and how I research items. I've, I've been enjoying that and I've gotten some good response from people that they like seeing my process for how I come up with keywords and how I create my titles and decide on the price of my items. Um, so I, I've tried to, I've done two, maybe three, this will be the third I think, where I just go through three items, you know, and find out what I can about them. Um, let's see. <clears throat> Sherry says, uh, very nice having a book club. I wish I liked to read. That's why Audible is awesome, because then you don't have to. They read it for you. <laughs> um, okay, so then I didn't go through and check, because normally I like to share, like, best uh, subscriber comments of the week or things that I've learned from, because I respond back to everybody. You know, if you leave a comment on my video, generally, unless it's like, what are you doing to your hair? It's horrible. Then I just ignore you. But <laughs> most comments are very helpful, and I've learned a lot from people. You know, there's a lot of things that happen in the discussion in the, in the comment section. So usually I go through and find somebody that's really shared something amazing, and I'll share it with you today. But I didn't do it today, so sorry. And then <clears throat> um, my shipping tips. Oh, my gosh. Did I tell you guys last week about me sw swapping labels on packages? It has been the month for me on eBay and Etsy with losing that stuff. And then I swapped these, these two labels. <clears throat> so I had two brooches that sell sold one on Etsy and one on eBay. And this just so happened whenever I box something up and I, everything, I write the person's initials on the, on the package. And then <laughs> now Christine, not seriously about my hair. <laughs> Sorry. <I'm laughs> but other stuff. So these two people just happened to have the same initials, and I didn't notice. So when I went to put the labels on, boom, too bad, they went to the wrong people, right? So then I get an email from a lady on eBay, and this is a, a tip. <laughs> Even if someone starts off mean and nasty towards you, don't give that back to them. So the lady wrote the one of the meanest emails back to me about getting the wrong item and i don't even know what this thing is i can't i mean what is this, this is horrible and i you know it was very time sensitive what i needed but oh, i mean it was just like and she was bashing the other item that she got the other brooch 
I mean, just, <laughs> and I was just like, okay, I, I'm going to like pour on the sugar, you know? So I was just like, oh, I'm so sorry. And I made a mistake. And, you know, and then her tune, her, her, she changed her tune and suddenly she was very friendly and very, you know, and I was, you know, I told her I'm happy to both of the people I uh, refunded half of their cost, paid for them to have it shipped back to me, paid for them to get their new one sent to them. I ended up refunding her her whole one because she was it was a gift for somebody, and she even went out like and bought stuff to try to recreate the brooch. And she was sending me pictures afterwards. I was like, okay, see. She started off really mean and she turned out really nice and was sharing like her progress trying to make this brooch. Now, the weird thing is for the lady on Etsy said she sent the brooch back to me, but I still haven't gotten it and there's no tracking. So I'm like, I don't know what to do about this. I've already refunded other lady. I don't know. But and I've already sent this lady back on the Etsy lady her correct brooch. So I just don't even know anymore. Yeah. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Hit the hustle says so I did that last Christmas. Oh, thank you, Christine. <laughs> Hit the hustle. I had the buyers send the packages to each other. It was crazy, but it worked. Yeah, eBay lady said, why can't we just do that? And Etsy lady had already told me that she sent it back already. But it still hasn't come. Right? And eBay lady then sends it back to me. I've already gotten it and sent it to the other lady. It's like a mess, right? <laughs> <laughs> Tina Sale says, I read more things like Zig Ziglar, Girl Boss. That was funny. Oh, okay. I'll have to look out some funny stuff. Um, so now, instead of putting just the initials on the box, I'm also putting the state. So like, let's say the initials are MC and then TX for Texas, you know. So Henry says, I will put the zip code on the mail. Oh, that's a good idea. Like writing out the zip, because I mean, what are the odds of having the same zip code? Maybe I'll do the initials and the zip code. Because knowing me, that would happen, right? Okay, so then moving down, I'm skipping a few things because I didn't really, I don't have anything to tell you about customers other than that, but I just told you. Um, my health and wellness stuff that I like to hit on, I, I have started doing something called two mile mornings, where I, every morning when I drop the kids off at school, I go to the park and I walk two miles. So that's been going really well and it's motivated me a lot. Also with eating better because now I'm walking two miles every day. I don't want to go home and eat a bunch of junk. So that's what's happening there, two mile mornings. And I don't have a whole lot. Oh, there was one other thing I was going to share last week. On my way, when I was in at Ecom, um, Jay, Jason T. Smith and Nadine were uh, auctioning things off for um, the National Breast Cancer Foundation, I think that's the right one. And so I decided I was going to bid on Jason's phone case because he got a new phone. His phone case was a one of a kind phone case. <clears throat> and so I did. And so this is what it looks like. I was going to show it last week. So this is Jason's phone case. So now I'm like, I got Jason on my phone. <laughs> but the funny thing is, so he's always saying how. You know, he can take pictures, like he'll, he, he can take pictures and nobody notices, or he can record stuff and nobody like pays attention. And I think what it is, is he's a big dude. He's like six, five or something. He's ginormous and he's bald and he's like big. Right. And so I'm not, you know, Mo, maybe I'm not going to make eye contact with some guy that's that like that. Right. I don't know. So I thought, okay, I'm going to do, I was going to do a, um, walk around the thrift store with my phone like and make some video <laughs> make some video well turns out I'm not six five and so that doesn't like hide the phone so now I'm walking around like this and I see people looking at me going like trying to make out what's on the phone like I'm like this is not working I cannot incognito record stuff with with Jason on my phone with people looking at my phone like so so I think it works for him because Maybe they don't want to make eye contact with this big giant guy, but me, it's like, what is that? You know? So we'll see what happens. And then my mother was not, she did not approve of what was on his shirt. I'm just saying, even though I told her a hole doesn't stand for a hole like you think, it stands for always helping others learn eBay or e commerce or whatever. So yeah, that's what. <laughs> 
and then I don't know how much longer I can keep it on there, honestly, because <laughs> I can't. I, I it just can't. <laughs> I like Jason a lot, but <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Okay, I think that's everything. Let me see if there's anything else in the chat. Uh, ooh, doo -doo -doo. Melissa says, when I get around to it, I'm going to do a video on some do's and don'ts on shipping. Awesome. Um, yeah, I don't, I'm also, oh, I mentioned that, didn't I? The merch. I mean, I'm doing a merch Q&A, so if you have questions about that. I think I saw a question up before. I need to keep it. Somebody asked. Anyway, I'll go back and look for it. But anyway, if you have any more questions in the chat or anything you want to share, let me know. If not, I will talk to you later. If you like this kind of video, hit that subscribe button. Oh, and I was going to say, I'm getting closer to 7,000. I think I'm, I, I may be like four, 400 away. I don't even know. But I, if I was, I did a big giveaway when I hit 6,000 where I, I gave away a jewelry jar. So I think I'm going to do that again because I have like five or six jewelry jars in my workroom that I haven't even, kitty updates, that I haven't even um, opened yet. They're around here. What is that? Kitties. No, they're not going to come if I call them. But they're out. They're here. <laughs> I, I need to grab one to show you, but they're they're hiding now. Kitties! Yeah, oh well. They eat. Okay, Pancake and Mimi, those are the new kittens. They don't care. They will eat people food. Uh, and so they're like dogs, you know? I mean, Pancake especially. You can't, I, you can't leave food on the table. You can't leave food on the counters or drinks or anything because they will go out. It doesn't matter if it's oatmeal. I mean, you look, turn around, and then your cat's eating your oatmeal. Everything. It's crazy. I've never seen a cat eat like this. Everything. Like, we used to joke about, we need a dog, because if we spilled, like, get crumbs on the floor, then the dog would come eat the crumbs off the floor. We don't need a dog anymore. Pancake's taking care of this. I've never had a cat like that before. <laughs> so, it's a, uh, yeah. Let's see. What's with the best, um, I'm not sure, Henry. <clears throat> okay, all right. So, yeah, next time I'll try to grab one of them. Let me see if she's under the... Mimi likes to sit on the chairs, but they're not there right now. Okay, so, yeah, if you like this kind of video <laughs> with me rambling and talking to people you can't see, hey, hit the like button <laughs> and subscribe if you are not already. And when I do hit that 7,000 subscribers, then I'll do another jewelry jar giveaway. So I'm excited about that because that'll be one less thing in my workroom. <laughs> okay, guys, thanks so much for hanging out, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.